Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome to this unboxing video. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing one of my Project RS cases. cases. <laughs> and uh, as you can probably tell from the what's in front of you here, this is a Smith & Wesson pistol. And uh, more specifically, it's the WE MMP Black. So uh, let's take a look at the externals of the box. It's a pretty standard uh, hard case plastic box and deep blue our most purple color we got the smith and wesson logo here on the front we got a carrying handle a little bit of texturing here i'm not really sure if that does anything it's probably just a design thing um, you got a hole here for a lock so that you can lock the case if you're traveling or storing it somewhere um, we got the dual snap hinges here on the front to keep the box closed with the Smith & Wesson logo on both sides. And on the back there's not really anything, but uh, it's uh, stack they're stackable. So if you happen to have multiple MMPs, which I actually do, I have two pistols, but I have four of these cases. Don't ask me why. Uh, and here on the side we have the barcode sticker and as you can see it's an MMP9 in 9mm it's a pistol with a four and a quarter inch barrel we got the SKU stock keeping unit number right there and that's the serial number up top I'm not exactly sure what this number here is might be some kind of quality control number or something like that uh, we got Smith & Wesson up there UPCA barcode and the uh, barcode number and plain text, so to speak. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the externals. Well, as you can see around the bottom, the hinges are of good quality. There's not really any any problem opening and closing in it, and uh, they don't look to be weak or poorly molded, so I think those are going to last. And the box also have these feet so that it can stand up by itself. And it's pretty sturdy, actually. So I think that about covers the externals of the box. So let's go inside and see what we have. So obviously we're going to have the MMP pistol and with one magazine in it. And we have two extra back straps, which are interchangeable here on the grip. Uh, some people call them palm swells because back strap would be just that part. And since these extend into your palm, I guess you could call them uh, palm swells as well. So this is the large one. And you can see it has the extra tang up here to give you a little bit beefier grip if you have big hands. And they're also labeled inside. You can see it says large right there and there's the medium strap and um, I keep the small one installed on the pistol itself um, so before we go any further let's go ahead and do a safety check of the pistol just to make sure there's no accident so first I remove the magazine put it to the side lock the slide back and due to the fact that you know, you can't really see into an airsoft hop chamber if there's a BB or not. Uh, I'm going to use a cleaning rod just to make sure. So put it in gently, go past the hop rubber, make sure that I see it come out and that there's no BB in the, in the chamber. <clears throat> so release the slide, fire in a safe direction. And I also like to double check the magazine just to make sure there's no gas in it so depress the valve nothing in there and just pull down the BB follower and make sure that there are no BBs in the magazine so now the pistol is clear uh, let me put that to the side for now and um, let's see we got a standard foam insert here that you can take out uh, there's a cutout here in the middle I'm not actually sure what that's for um, you know it's just the sides are cut and nothing else maybe it's to store the 
the back straps or an extra magazine, I don't know. And then we have a little cute safety warning here with some contact information to uh, Smith & Wesson. And there's nothing in the bottom here. I guess you could store documents or whatever you want uh, down below. <clears throat> so taking a look here at the top compartment, it comes with a pistol lock, standard uh, cable lock, uh, two sets of keys, not really much to say. Uh, if you intend to store this or if you have children at home, you might want to consider using this. There's a Smith & Wesson MMP instructions manual, uh, pretty detailed, you know, goes over pretty much uh, everything you need to know, obviously. Being American, the first uh, eight pages are strictly safety information. And then we get into the loading, unloading, safety checking. And here you can see the, uh, the different parts of the pistol, uh, etc. So that's pretty good. You get a registration card for your warranty in case you ever need that. You got Smith & Wesson information right there and on the back side here they're telling you congratulations blah blah and uh, some benefits of uh, registration and that you can also do it online which I guess would be a little more convenient than to fill out uh, well, all of these little boxes and check boxes and information they pretty much want to know everything about you uh, so that's kind of cool we also have a spent casing envelope. As you can see, this is from uh, let's see, uh, there's the focus. Uh, it's the just lists the Smith and Wesson manufacturer, model, gun type, caliber, etc. Signed by KB, whoever that is. And on the back side, it's also sealed by KB. Let's see what else we have. We have a pair of Smith & Wesson airplugs with the uh, just the string in between and the rubber airplugs. These are actually pretty comfortable. And they're also coated in uh, some type of wax with a little bit of strawberry uh, scent to it. So they're actually kind of nice to, uh, to handle and smell as well. So that's cool. And we also have a chamber safety flag tool. Right, let me just demonstrate how that works. Again, the gun is safety checked as prior. Lock the, sorry, lock the slide back. Insert it into the chamber and release the slide. And it uh, keeps the slide open. And obviously, uh, you can't get around it. You can have the magazine inserted if you wish. But no round is going to be able to uh, go into the chamber or be in the chamber and you can't fire the pistol in this mode so that's pretty good if you're on the range you want to make sure people know your gun is safe you could put that in so that's pretty much it I'm not going to be uh, talking about the pistol itself I intend to do a separate review video for that um, but overall, I like it. Nice quality and finish. So let's see if I can put all of the different parts out here for you to see. So again, we have the instructions manual. We have a cable lock. You have the warranty and registration card. You got the spent casing envelope. You got your strawberry earplugs. Chamber safety flag. Two spare uh, back straps or uh, palm swells for uh, the pistol. We have one magazine and, of course, the pistol itself, the MP9. So there you have it. That's my uh, unboxing of this this uh, Project RS case box. Uh, again, this is the WE. MMP in black. So that's about it. Thanks.